Hey, Golden. Yeah, what's up? How do you is like? How do you think like the she Metroid fan me completely shaved on my fur? Oh uh, she didn't. Oh my! I'm a I'm gonna you take a uh, hundred. I'm gonna take hundred. I'm taking 180 degree nope on that one. But yeah, um... Don't let the, don't let the appearance fool you. Nine-tailed Felix is really large. Anyways, you were saying okay. logic? Yeah. Um, do you think it would, like, benefit or hinder the Metroid franchise if they attempted to, like, remaster the original Metroid games into, like, 3D Metroid games like the Metroid Prime series? Uh, so we'd have like the original Metroid and the other ones and then Metroid Fusion in like the same engine as Metroid Prime. I'm not sure how that would work. I mean, that's that's kind of the same route with like any other uh, original Metroid game that would try to have like a 3D remodeling. Hmm. I mean, do you mean it in the same fashion like with uh, uh, Samus Returns? Um... I don't think I'm aware of Samus Returns, but I'm going to assume it's in a similar way to that. Well, I'll tell you this much. Samus Returns was a remake of Metroid 2, and while while the format is very 3D, the gameplay itself still runs as a platformer. Ah, okay. Going left to right. Hmm. It's just that I was thinking of how cool it would be to, like, be in a Metroid Prime-esque scenario with that game engine and a dimensional space and then having to hide from SAX oh boy um, that would definitely create some interesting mechanics mm. out of that Wait, two days. What then again that? I'm always then again I'm always thinking of like what something would be like through a different medium and I guess that's just my way of thinking I like to imagine various different variations on something it's why I had the 3D Tetris idea before I found out that 3D Tetris is an actual thing and that there is a really, really, really evil game developer in the universe. Oh, you mean like EA? Well, I mean, it's like, you know, <laughs> like EA is, is like EA is greedy evil. Whoever made Tetris 3D is evil evil. True. They want people to die. <laughs> oh my god. Like, Mr. EA, is, like, EA something. isn't trying to kill people, apart from poor people. Because they can't buy microtransactions. <laughs> yeah. Well, apparently somebody made a picture of Twist of Fate shaved as well. He sent me the picture. Oh, boy. Oh, Please don't post God. it in the chat. Please don't. Poor Twist! <laughs> don't, sh don't show it. I'm I don't want to see that. I'm not going to sh I'm not going to show it, but apparently he saw my picture, so he's like, Hey, somebody shaved Oh, God. <laughs> he looks like a also, chihuahua. Also, That's the what I just said! I just want to say, the shaved Felix looks like not only a chihuahua, but it looks like he's sitting on an octopus. Oh god, you guys want to... <laughs> you guys want to know what... You guys want to know what freaking well cake shared me? Oh god, Somebody... what? Me... She shared me pictures of, uh, of, uh, of these, uh, the Lego Persona figures, but... Yeah, these Lego figures, but they were... Ha they showed up, uh, digging balls. What? Yeah, there are Lego <laughs> figures with, there are Lego why? figures with why? literal dicks. What? No, we're not doing dicks. this. We're not, no. Okay, no. I've made, I've made an executive decision. We are taking the biggest 180 degree fuck off on that one. We are not talking yeah. about Lego genitals. We are not talking about Lego genitals. We are noping. We are noping everybody. Nope. We're getting a hashtag, like, nope in the chat. <laughs> this this is a disapproval yeah, of logic. I've been in this rage. I've been in this rage before. God damn it! <laughs> you can literally hear the reverse beeping on the fucking truck that is this stream because we're not going down this path. We're not. Yeah, Lego porn is a season, thing. I, season, I know Minecraft porn is a thing, and once again, no. Bro, that's fucking no. weird. I've What's seen next? That shit. What's next? Roblox? What's I next? Refuse. Hang on, what's next? Robo uh, uh, Roblox? Oh, wait. No. Oh, God, no. Is so Shut awkward. up with that. Shut up with that. Every time they have sex, every time they have sex, they go, Shit, oof, stop it. oof, Shut oof, up. Oof. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. 
I don't want that image in my head, thank you. Get that out of my <laughs> head. Oh. Uh, that was, like, so fucking messed up. And into my car. At least soul seven of them. My soul is dying, help me. <laughs> soul is dying? What? Thank no, <laughs> I said golden. <laughs> no, I said, no, I said golden, help me, my soul is dying. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't your soul always dying? Okay, so... EG was talking about all the freaking Minecraft and Lego and Roblox porn. Yeah, and shit. I got so that. I I said, Lego porn. Yeah, so I said, Golden, help me. My soul is dying. I'm dying. Because you were the only one not talking about it. <laughs> okay, J I'm J not talking about it. I'm trying to stop him from talking about okay, who it. Who is this? Okay, J12, we understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's been. Like, we, we we understand. Thank you. Please stop. <laughs> Same guy who's been raging on Teen Titans Go. Yeah. <laughs> None of us didn't even mention EA over here. Mm. But we know. So, yeah, that, now, so yeah, now that we've. Craw we, now that we've clawed our way out of the abyss that is pornography that really shouldn't exist in spite of the rules of the internet. Um, next topic. Bruh. They make porn out of buildings and airplanes. What? Next topic, please. Ah, uh, shit. I just triggered the security robot. All right. Okay. We can talk <laughs> now we can talk about the security robot. So, Golden, give us the basic rundown of what you're in for with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> the role was like, okay, that's enough, you idiots. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> How far behind is the chat lagging? Because I don't see the security bot. Yeah, Are you I, fine just now? I just got started. Oh, he's right there, he's right there. Oh, oh my god, it's, the, it's that spider robot again. Yeah, it's yep. annoying. Sure loves to hop around like a bunny rabbit. Also, is that combat damage from the last fight you had? Um... I'm going to I assume think... it is, because he can't shoot missiles to save his life. I think? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, that... Plus is on both sides, and Golden's only been on the left, so it's got to be from the last fight. Yeah. Also, I just noticed the, the security bot has a big-ass brain in it. Yeah. Ew. That's That's Metroid shit for you. Ow! Why? Why does it always have to have something that looks like so a fucking someone, brain? So someone put a Metroid in an exosuit. <laughs> oh, fucking Why hell! Brains? Why? Anyway. You know, I like the design mm. of the Met- I actually really like the design of the Metroids. Despite the fact that they're like alien jellyfish siphons that steal your life force and your everything. And just murder indiscriminately and shit. I like the Metroids. Cool. <laughs> but I think, I feel like this might be detachment issue from the Metroid that Golden adopted in the last game. That was then sacrificed in the game after. <laughs> Spoiler alert for anyone who was born a hundred years ago. <laughs> I actually get really confused by people who talk about spoilers for something that's so old I didn't exist when it did. <laughs> like, I haven't seen Willy Wonka the Chocolate Factory. Spoilers! Like, okay. dude, seriously? That version is like, in, was made in the 80s. That's older than me! Hey, Season, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good! Ow, my fingers. Fuck, 245 positions? Damn. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna specify how- I'm not gonna specify what. Thank you. What? I have an idea. Oh, no. Dun dun dun! I can't get over the- I can't get over this image. I 
can't get over the shaved Felix. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to look at it anymore. I'm covering up, bro. I'm covering myself up. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I mean, God Justin dang, looked, I but... imagine, like, I was like, okay, who ah. shaved? The, who shaved? Okay, who shaved the kisune? Who shaved off his fur? Miss. <laughs> I think we established that. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, if this happened, like in, in an actual episode, I could just be looking like, all right, who shaved the kisune? Who shaved the fox? Like. In actuality, like, Myth or Bliss would probably be the only characters able to get close enough to do it. Hmm. Or Discord with his chaotic match. That you know, what, we, you know what, we're just gonna blame it on Discord because, let's be honest, it's always Discord. <laughs> I can see what he would just do that to, just to mess with Felix. Yeah, because mm. Felix likes to troll Discord every once in gotcha. a while, so of course he would be like, whoops, my finger slipped. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I feel like he'd be even more of an asshole for saying that his finger slipped, because that's not how snapping works. I'm not mad. I'm not. Fuck! But you know how, you, he, you know Discord. Yes, I do. I know. I know. <laughs> Discord would have done it, and the thing is, when Lucky finds out it's that, she'd be like, I'm gonna let Fluttershy know about this. No, no, let Fluttershy exactly. know about this. Well, again, he snaps he Felix. Let me over for a tea party. It's like he snaps Felix's hair back, but the density of the hair is tripled, so Felix is a giant sheep fox god now. <laughs> <laughs> the old fur. Which is a yeah. massive parrot, which actually sounds like a really massive paradox. A sheep fox. <laughs> But, uh, and then of course after he reverses it, Lucky be like, Okay, good job for fixing that, but I'm still telling Fluttershy what you did. And she just starts walking towards Fluttershy's cottage, while well, this card is trying to stop her. Also, here's a really weird you know, question. Just walk by Discord and be like, I'm gonna get you back next week, you know this. <laughs> also, Weird question, if you combined an animal that's a carnivore and a can like, an animal that's a herbivore, would they still oh, have the instinctive the incentive ladder. to eat meat? Uh, I mean, there are technically, some foxes actual... are omnivorous. I know. Yeah. But, but I'm also... just like... I guess it is like I guess a less vague way of putting it is like if you were somehow able to combine a fox and a sheep, would it still try to eat sheep? Um, it'll depend on what, where, which side it was raised on. If it was raised by one, the one that eats the meat, then might most likely. But if it was raised by the ones that eat the grass, then they would not. When we die, our bodies become the grass, and the ants eat the grass. <laughs> also, I remember, like, a really long time ago back in, like, this stream, somebody was asking about me doing an American accent. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not me just, like, defying you out of spite or anything. I literally just can't. It doesn't occur naturally to me. And, you like, probably would be able to pull off a southern accent. Fucking hell! Grab no. a hold of the fucking ladder! You it's could! Like, I, because... It's like, if I'm not... It's like, if I'm too conscious about it, where I'm like, trying really hard, it will sound forced and really dumb, like I'm trying to take the piss out of them. <laughs> and if I was gonna take the piss out of American people, I wouldn't do it in their accent, since it makes me sound dumb. Which is ironic. Considering the aforementioned sir, scenario is piss taken. But good sir, it's always important to try things out even when you don't think you can pull it off. You sound like you're trying to be I rarity. Don't, I don't much care for you right now, Jeff. <laughs> what did you say, Golden? I said it sounds like you're trying to be rarity. <laughs> also, people are wondering what. If people are wondering why I call Jesse Jess, it's so that nobody hit miss hears me saying Blissy. Now, you'd think that'd be ridiculous, but it has happened. Like, did yeah. you say Blissy when I clearly said Jesse? Just as we met. 
Yeah. Yeah. And I don't yeah. mind being called that too. And, oh, and to answer your, what you just said, Golden, a darling, I, that doesn't mean I don't know how to sound I like. hate. <laughs> Boy, that really got on his ugly side. <laughs> God dang, dude, like, chill you out. You like William Afton trapped in hell. <laughs> oh, God. I remember, remember that, that theory? Yeah, no, when they, fa when they found... That the like background ambience of Ultimate Custom Night was literally William Afton screaming in hell. Ugh. That's yeah. When you think about it. it it makes it makes playing Ultimate Custom Night all that much more disturbing. Exactly. But, tec but technically, you know that's his hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, then, but then you realize it's also really satisfying that after everything he did, William Afton isn't safe anymore. He got what he, he doesn't, deserved. He's like, he doesn't get to walk away. No amount of remnant will save him. But apparently in the what FNAF the VR, a part of him survived and is trying to get back into the real world. Okay, yeah. I don't agree with that. I agree with the, I agree with the theory that says like because of the nature of the game and the tech the way they like use technology to make the game authentic yeah. like personalities and like files they had on people which oh, according to the woman who sent the tapes were put there by accident were able to create an artificial representation of what william afton was For only reason, this time does not want to grab on the ladder yeah. Only this time, because it's an artificial representation of what Afton did and not Afton himself, there's no humanity. So now we've got a William Afton virus that can't go to hell <laughs> because it can't die. Finally. Are you... Is that from the way with what... Oh, shit. <sighs> of course. I had to deal with that. Great. Well, the reason I like the reason I don't want to go the route of oh William Afton's been fucking like his soul survived in the video game and has escaped hell by escaping into the body of another human just sounds really dumb to me, and I was like you guys can probably see why I'd say that because it's like oh a soul was transferred through data from hell. So what you so what people would then be saying is you have to somehow make the leap from the inescapable hellish astral plane of hell onto a computer that then puts you onto some circuit boards that are then sent by chance to some game testers and beta people and designers and developers who then put it in the game and then you have to make the leap to the game before they remove it and send it back. I'll kiss my and ass. And then you have to turn yourself into a golden rabbit costume that then gets split apart across multiple tapes put in by someone who you didn't know was coming and then hatch your plan to steal ah. the body of the next beta test. And all this having escaped from hell. What? In what is the most impossible escape plan in the known universe, since you feasibly cannot escape hell, the very idea. Grab the of goddamn hell. ladder. So. I also like the fact that Scott Cawthon made himself a character in his own game. <laughs> yeah. that, that is very messy. Fuck. Okay, that was funny. Well played, Scott. Well played.